today is April 22nd, 2024, and I said that I would take you with me wherever we went. We just went to the post office, um, dropped off some mail, and I forgot to, well actually I have recorded a lot of different clips, but I just chose to start over because there were so many interruptions. So um, today is the first day of Passover. And I don't know if you guys remember celebrating Passover or the feast, any of the feasts of the tabernacles, um, but it's the Jewish celebrations and the festivities that the Jews did, which is basically kind of cool because it's all the celebrations that Jesus um, celebrated while he was here on this earth. So, um, yeah, so today's the first day. We did have to get rid of, like, any product that had bread that was bread because um what's the it's the it's the, mm -hmm. it's the yeast in the product oh for this yeah it's called leaven so it's leaven represents sin and um so you have to get rid of that in your house and there's a lot of people who do a lot of fasting through the um through the passover i will fast at least two days i might fast I do want to remind you guys, oh, I did get a text from a friend today who did tell me that she saw Clara and that Clara is absolutely beautiful, which I'm not surprised. Um, I'm heartbroken that I don't get to see Clara. I'm heartbroken that everybody, in fact, this is probably a, a civil offense, a civil zoo, but that everybody is keeping me from being able to have any kind of contact with Clara, including me being able to see pictures of Clara. That's wrong on so many accounts, and I believe all these people will be held severely accountable for what they're doing. But what I want to tell you, Clara, is I'm not surprised that you're beautiful. You've always been you having to go through this. You are a brave girl. Warren, you are a brave young man. You guys are amazing. You're my heroes in my book. You are truly heroes. Um, I want to remind you guys of your identity, who you guys are in Christ Jesus. Um, I know that I have been reading some stuff out of Dr. M.K. Stridham's book and um, I'm going to read a couple little things, passages to you guys. Um, I'm going to wait for Hadid to stop the car. He's probably going to go into the grocery store and I'll just hang out with you guys. Um, so I'm just going to wait a second. Okay, so he decided to. He's going through the Burger King drive through So I decided to stop out of the car and record this recording because I have attempted to record this recording for the last hour. And it, there has been a lot of <laughs> interruptions. So I'm just going to get this recorded, get it uploaded. Um, one of the things I wanted to remind you guys of is 
as this is actually in Dr. M.K. Stridum's book, um, you are not what you think you are. You are who the Lord says you are. You are a mighty man or a woman or young lady and a young man a valor. You are a champion, overcoming warrior who possesses dignity and honor. Like that is who God says you are. I don't know if you guys remember, but I used to pray or say these um, biblical affirmations over you guys um, at bedtime. In fact, the last night that we had together, um, the Lord had really prompted me to make sure I read them over you as you guys were falling asleep. And that was the last night that I remember reading them over you. It's the last night that I had with you. We were in that hotel in Bend. It was the night before the awful hearing on July 8th when the judge said that I was delusional because I pray and talk to God. Um, funny thing is, is that judges actually have no psychological training nor are they doctors. They cannot diagnose. Um, and there was just so much, um, let's just say there were a lot of lies that went down that day and a lot of, yeah, untruthfulness and people are going to be judged for that. Um, I'd like to see it happen here on this earth, but I know that it's going to happen on judgment day for these people for sure. Like, there's no doubt about it. Um, but that night was the last night that I had with you guys. And I remember, Claire, I remember combing your hair, like, away from your face. And Warren, you were on the opposite bed. Um, but maybe I had moved over. I used to rub my fingers through your guys' hair, like, on your head. Um, I don't know if you guys remember that, but I miss that. I miss comforting you, praying over you, telling you how much I love you, how much I care about you, how much God loves you. The most important thing. So these videos are with the intention to remind you who you are. Because you guys are amazing. You're not who your dad says you are. You are not who your teachers say you are. You are not who the world says you are. You are who God says you are. That is, a, is, that is factual. And that is rooted in the Bible. Um, in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 it says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you and approved of you, Warren and Clara. You guys were his chosen instruments for such a time as this. For this exact time. And before you were born, the Lord, Father God, He separated you and set you apart, consecrating you. He actually set you apart for a specific mission here on this earth. And He actually gave you everything that you need to complete that mission. My prayer over you is for you to realize that and come into the, the knowledge and the understanding of your identity, but also what everything that God has given you to complete the mission so that someday when you pass away to heaven that you can stand before God and he will say well done good and faithful servant because that is who you are you guys are amazing you didn't go through everything you went through in vain you didn't go every everything that you've gone through you didn't go through it so that you can die and then be in hell for the rest of your life you went through what you have done because God has given you, every, not because, but because you have gone through everything that you have gone through, God has set you apart. He knew it from the beginning of time, and he's given you everything that you need, um, not only to get through that, but to get through any other situation that you have coming up. And the unfortunate thing sometimes I think, although I'm sure God doesn't see it this way, is that our troubles, our hills, they get bigger. So at first it's a, a small hill, it's a small victory. Then it's a little bit bigger hill and a little bit bigger victory. And then it gets bigger and bigger. But at least he doesn't throw us in front of Mount Everest, right? He builds up our strength. He builds up our identity, our character, 
and our faith to know that we can do everything and anything that God sets in front of us because Jesus Christ is in us and we are in him. I hope that makes sense. Um, let me see here. I'm going to read a couple more things to you. Um, in, Eph in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4 it says, He chose us. He chose you guys. He actually picked you out for himself as his own in Christ before the foundations of the world. So before he even made the world, he handpicked you guys out. He designed, created you, and gave you everything you needed. He already knew every weakness and every flaw. And he still said, I want you, Warren. I want you, Clara. And he said to Wyatt, I want you, Wyatt. That's amazing. Ephesians 1 verse 5 says that he predestined you to be adopted as his child. He already set it apart. However, we still have our job. He's given that to us um, and then we have to fulfill our end of it. And I'm sure I'll get into more of it. In Ephesians 1 verse 6 it says, To the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he has made us accepted and beloved the lord loves us so much um i don't know if you guys remember this but we used to pray the armor of god on us and that's in ephesians chapter 6. in ephesians chapter 6 it says put on the full armor of god the breastplate of righteousness and the trans um so you put on the breastplate of god's armor and God's approval that's what righteousness means hey putting it on your your breast and saying I am approved I'm approved by God the one who created the heavens and the earth the one who who even created Satan and will cast Satan and all of his minions and all the people who he has used to do his bidding and use his evilness he will cast all of them into the pit of hell forever for eternity um, and last couple that I'm going to read over you, um, in Matthew chapter three, verse 17, it says, God and that God accepts and approves of you. He approves of you guys. Therefore you are accepted and you are appro approved by God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. You got to believe it. You have to say it to yourself. Look in the mirror and say, I am accepted. I am approved by Father God. I am approved by Jesus Christ. You are his beloved son. You are his beloved daughter in whom he is well pleased. Well, well pleased. Um, so say that out loud to yourself. Say, God accepts and approves of me. Therefore, I accept and approve myself. And then the last one that I'm going to share with you for today is, I am God's child, and He is pleased with me. God is so pleased with you guys. No matter what you've done, you've been forgiven. Just reach out to Him. He has His mercy, His grace, forgiveness, and that He extends to us. And if we will receive it, if we will say, God, please forgive me, um, accept me, um, Please forgive me. I will receive your forgiveness. And I choose to believe that I am accepted. I am approved of. And you are well pleased with me. So I'm going to end here. I am going to say a couple um, affirmations that I had mailed to you guys. Um, I think it was two or three years ago. Um, I can't believe it's going on four years. The, it's, it, a lot of moms are praying god do something smite the evil because you guys there are thousands of children in the same shoes as you some way more horrific situations it's all horrific but there's thousands of children in the same position and a lot of mothers who are suffering they say statistically one in six moms die who have had their children taken away that's that's way too many they, they die of heart, being heartbroken. They die of suicide, cancer, illness. Um, it's, it's really sad. It's very unfortunate. 
So I'm going to read a couple affirmations I have sent you, Warren and Clara. These are things that I wanted you to read over yourself. You are confident. You walk in boldness, not because of who you are, but because of your heavenly father. Because of who he is. You can say, God, the maker of the heavens and the earth, he's my dad. And you, therefore, you can walk in boldness because... You are an heir of everything that he has, which is this entire world. And someday you'll be able to rule with him. And you'll be able to make judgments. Um, okay, the challenge for this day was do something bold today. And give yourself a hug from me today. Um, and of course I said I love you guys very much. Love mom. And then the last one it says... My mom is so proud of me because I am. I'm proud of both you guys. You guys are brave warriors. You're courageous. You guys are my true heroes. You really are. Um, the challenge for this day was give your brother or your sister a hug from me. I miss your guys' hugs. Warren, I miss talking to you. Clara, I miss combing your hair with my fingers. I miss rubbing your guys' backs. I miss being with you. I miss your silly jokes, Warren. Clara, I miss watching you watch people because you're so intuitive. You're so smart and knowledgeable. I miss that. I miss wondering what is Clara thinking about. Warren, I miss so much about you. You guys are, you guys are, like I said, you're my heroes. I miss you. I love you so much. Father God, I just thank you so much that you chose me to be their mom. Lord, thank you for giving me everything that I need as their mother to overcome this. Lord, thank you for trusting me with such a huge, what feels like such a huge mountain like Mount Everest to climb up and conquer. Lord, that you entrusted these two precious kids into my life to intercede for and to pray for and to bring victory and justice into our lives. Setting an example for so many other children and mothers out there. Father, I thank you for that. Lord, I pray over Warren and Clara. Lord, I ask that you continue to strengthen their knowledge of who they are as a child of God their courage, their bravery, their identity, or that you give them such courage that there is nothing that stops them or holds them back from speaking the truth, from sharing even the most, what they might think is the insignificant details of their life, Lord, that they share the things that they know the Holy Spirit has put on their heart to share, and that you bring people into their lives that they can trust and they can confide in, Lord. And just thank you, Father, Lord, we continue to pray. May your will be done, not our will here on earth, but your will here on earth as it is in heaven. Lord, reunite us together soon. And I just thank you for your, your, your love over each one of us. I thank you for uprooting and exposing anything that is hidden in the darkness that should not be, Lord, that you're, you're revealing that. Thank you for the patience in this process. In your heavenly name, amen. I love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.